Now, in the past, I've had some pretty good luck growing things like lettuce and other leafy and other types of vegetables in a hydroponic environment in my basement in a grow room like this under artificial lights. Now, today I want to show you kind of step by step how I did that, you know, how I set it up and what I used and, and just how to do it. So if this is of interest to you, uh, keep watching and I'll show you how it's done and what, you, what results you can expect. Now one of the first things you've got to know is what do you have to put in the water to make these things grow in a hydroponic style? Now I'm sure most of you know you can't just use tap water and and put the plants in the tap water and let them grow in there because tap water or any water that you basically get that's clean that you can drink doesn't have enough nutrients in it to sustain plant growth. So here's a quick description of what I do, what I put in the water and it seems to work quite well for me. Now that little spoonful of chemicals that you saw me hold up to the camera there, notice how much is in there. Now right behind it you'll see a container on the table with a purple lid on it. Now that container is about about three and a half gallons of water. Now that's about how much chemical I'm going to put into that container which holds about three and a half gallons of water. So that'll give you some idea of how much chemical to put in. Now I normally put in three chemicals. <clears throat> One of them as you're seeing here is what is called miracle Grow. Now that's a brand name and they're not paying me to do this but the point is I use it because it works. And it works pretty well except for it's uh, short on two things that the plants need. Now if you're in dirt I think it's a different thing so don't th think I'm saying that uh, miracle Grow has you know a short on something. I'm just saying if you're using it for hydroponics which this is not meant for hydroponics it, it has everything the plants need except for a couple of things. And that is uh, calcium and uh, magnesium. Now magnesium you can get in uh, Epsom salt. So I use a little bit of that. And calcium, I use a little bit of calcium nitrate. Now Epsom salts you can get at any uh, drug store, you know, any drug counter because it's used for foot baths or something like that. So and it's pretty cheap. Now for calcium, there's a, quite a few things you can use and usually these things are found in the gardening stores. There's calcium nitrate and I think there's even calcium chloride and then there's this hydrated lime which is what you see on the, uh, on the little picture here I've shown. Now if you look on the back, the ingredients and all of those things, there's calcium something uh, and, and that's what you need. That's where you get calcium from. So if you have those two chemicals and you have miracle grow with it and you mix them in a hydroponic bath kind of like I'm showing you here that works pretty good at least it works pretty good for me okay so here I am mixing up a batch of that liquid with a little bit of uh, miracle grow and calcium something and magnesium salts in there and uh, mixing them up in a very small amount so that when you're all done you know the the little container that you see should still look clear. It shouldn't look blue or tinted from you know the chemicals that you put in because you don't need very much of them. But anyway, here's the chemicals and I've got them all mixed up and so let's get back here where I'm going to plant the lettuce in it. Now what I'm going to plant is uh, some red sail lettuce. I don't know if you can read that. But it's just a type of lettuce that I like. It grows pretty well, and what I'm going to do is put a few seeds right on top of that. Now, that might seem a little crazy, but I've done it before, at least you get the seeds to germinate. They're quite easy to germinate that way. So, here we are. Let's show you there. So, uh, we put it down here in the basement on a little table that I have that I've got a little grow station set up. And above this, I've got a CFL lighting system that I built a long time ago. And this seems to work pretty well. So we'll let this grow here for a little while and see what happens to it. It's the 25th of November, and as you can see, these have started to sprout. I just wanted to show you the progress that this uh, lettuce has 
given us here. Now you look down here you see the, the roots are doing quite well and it looks like it's growing very very well. Now this uh, picture is on the 6th of January now remember these were planted uh, on the November the 18th I remember so what does that make it 58 days old so this could be harvested today and it's a little small right now but it will grow bigger but it's looking pretty good looking very nice okay another is the 18th of January and today I am going to harvest this uh, lettuce it's a uh, red sales lettuce it's two months old from when I planted it, and uh, I think it's ready to harvest. Now I've done this the Kratky style, as you can see, and it's got a lot of algae in there, but that doesn't seem to bother things. I think the thing that I have learned now is that uh, the most important thing about this is to try to keep the uh, pythium from getting in there is to keep the water cool, keep it below 70 degrees. This water here, I just checked it, is about uh, 68, 65 degrees, something like that. Anyway, it seems to work, so we'll harvest this. Well, now I'm try not trying to trick you here with this picture. Obviously, this isn't the same head of lettuce that I just harvested off of the uh, uh, the indoor uh, hydroponic setup that I have down in the basement there. But this is typical of some of the heads of lettuce that I did pick uh, out of that uh, system down there. It's just that for some reason, when I harvested this one, I just never took a picture of it. But anyway, take that for what it's worth. Uh, typically, the heads of lettuce do look like this. Uh, all, this is a different kind. I think this is bib lettuce. But it does work. And you can grow these things indoors quite simply. So, you know, give this a try, and I, ha I use nothing fancy, you know, I just use some a lighting system that I built myself, and it just has uh, fluorescent lighting in it, you know, those CFLs. Now, it does have some of the kind that are called the warm, and some of them called the daylight, because those are the two basic uh, uh, kinds of light that a, a plant needs to grow very well. But anyway, we'll get into that some other time. But this works and it works pretty well and it's very simple to do and and anybody can really do this.